China's secret 3NM plan Huawei EUV trial confirmed, Beijing, May 2025. In a move set to shake up the global semiconductor industry, Huawei has reportedly begun testing a domestically developed extreme ultraviolet EUV lithography machine. Technology once thought to be far out of China's reach due to international sanctions. Sources including DigiTimes and Tech Power Up confirm that the trials are underway at Huawei's facility in Dongguan, with trial production expected by the third quarter of 2025 and plans for mass production in 2026. EUV lithography is critical for manufacturing the most advanced semiconductors, particularly 7N Mainios 5 Milios and now 3 nanometer chips. The cornerstone of cutting edge smartphones, high performance computing, and artificial intelligence. Until now, access to EUV systems has been dominated by Dutch firm ASML, the sole global supplier, which ceased all exports to China in 2020 under pressure from the US and its allies. The US sanctions, aimed at limiting China's ability to produce advanced chips, were expected to delay the country's progress by at least a decade. These restrictions prevented firms like Huawei and its key foundry partner SMIC from acquiring the critical equipment needed to go below the 7 n Miller threshold, locking them out of the leading edge of chip production. But recent developments suggest China has made significant strides in closing the technology gap. Huawei's EUV prototype reportedly represents the culmination of years of intensive R&D investment and strategic mobilization of domestic talent and resources. Despite being cut off from Western technologies, Huawei and SMIC began building an independent chip-making ecosystem, an ambitious effort that is now beginning to bear fruit. The news of the EUV breakthrough aligns with growing speculation about a large 3N Imolum plan, driven by Chinese leadership, to secure self-sufficiency in semiconductors. While details remain closely guarded, experts suggest that the implications of this move could be profound. If Huawei succeeds in scaling EUV-based 3N millimeter chip production, it would not only reduce China's reliance on foreign technology, but also challenge the long-standing dominance of Western chipmakers. While analysts remain cautious about the full capabilities and scalability of the new system, the confirmation of the trial marks a pivotal moment. As geopolitical tensions continue to influence global tech supply chains, Huawei's progress in EUV technology signals a potential reshaping of the semiconductor landscape in the years ahead. Let's keep the momentum rolling. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that button now. Like the video to push it to more tech enthusiasts, and share it with anyone who needs to understand what's at stake here. We're just getting started, and the next part is where it gets crazy exciting. So what's the big tech breakthrough? It's LDP, Laser Induced Discharge Plasma. This is the game changer that's powering China's secret 3 nm chip plan. Now LDP isn't the same as ASML's LPP, Laser Produced Plasma Machines. Here's how LDP works. It vaporizes tin between electrodes, zaps it with high voltage discharge and turns it into plasma that emits EUV light at a precise 13.5 millimolar wavelength. That's exactly the sweet spot needed to etch those tiny 3 nanomolar circuits. Sounds complicated, right? It is, but here's the genius. It's simpler, smaller, and much cheaper than ASML's massive LPP machines, which cost over $350 million each. Reports from WCCFT and Huawei Central confirm that this LDP-based EUV system is already being tested at Huawei's Dongguan site. The Chinese company SME, rumored to be China's lithography champion, filed a patent for this tech back in 2023, and now, it's on the way to reality. Trial production is set to begin in Q3 2025, just months away. If it works, mass production in 2026 could flood China with homegrown 3 mm chips and potentially break through the sanctions blocking their progress. But it doesn't stop with Huawei. SMIC, China's top chip foundry, is all in on this too. Together, they're not just catching up, they're aiming to leapfrog the West. A report from the South China Morning Post in January 2025 revealed that a Harbin-based team has also achieved a major breakthrough with their own EUV light source, hitting the same 13-point mark. This is no coincidence, this is a coordinated effort that's moving at warp speed. Now why does 3 nm matter so much? Simple, smaller chips mean more power, less energy, and insane performance. Your next phone could run AI models right on the device, self-driving cars could be flawless, and quantum computing could get a massive boost. The West's dominance in chip making has fueled everything from NVIDIA's AI advancements to Apple's iPhone empire. If China cracks 3 nm, they're not just in the game, they could rewrite the rules entirely. Right now, Huawei is still using 7 nm chips to power their Ascend AI chips and Mate phones. Impressive, but 3 nm is the next frontier. That's what TSMC is already making for Apple. 
and what Intel is betting on to claw back market share. If China pulls this off, the balance of global tech power could shift overnight. But if Huawei and SMIC succeed, ASML's monopoly could crumble. The Dutch company has been the undisputed leader, supplying high NAEUV machines to TSMC and Intel for sub 2 n mode chips. China has been locked out until now. A cheaper homegrown EUV system could flood the market and undercut ASML's $350 million machines. While Western chipmakers may scoff at this, it's important to note that TSMC is already working on high NAEUV in Taiwan, and Intel is pushing ahead in Oregon. China might not be there yet, but 2026 isn't far off. Meanwhile, the U.S. sanctions? They've backfired. Instead of crippling China's progress, they've sparked a fire under their tech sector. Huawei's founder even told Xi Jinping in February 2025 that chip shortages are easing, and per Reuters, NVIDIA has warned investors about Huawei's growing strength in AI chips. This is no fluke, this is a wake-up call. That said, China's still facing challenges. ASML's ecosystem took decades to perfect. Huawei's LDP tech is promising but unproven. Trial glitches could delay mass production, and the yields may not measure up to TSMC's established process. The West isn't trembling yet, but they're definitely watching. And if you're still here, you're clearly into the deep stuff. So hit that like button to keep the algorithm happy, subscribe for more insights like this, and share this with your tech squad. We're about to zoom out for the bigger picture. This isn't just about chips, it's about sovereignty. China is tired of depending on the West. Huawei's new Shanghai R&D center is reportedly hiring top chip talent to build lithography machines from scratch. Xi Jinping has made self-reliance a national mission, and this EUV trial is proof it's not just talk. Tech insiders on X like MKI Go and Amuang are backing this up. China is moving fast, but it's not all smooth sailing. ASML's CEO said in December 2024 that China is still 10 to 15 years behind when it comes to EUV, but that gap is closing fast. SMIC's 7 nanometer chips for Huawei have already turned heads. If China gets 3 nm right in 2026, the West's timeline for dominance could be completely wiped out. But building a full EUV supply chain, mirrors, lenses, software is no easy task. China is betting big, but it's still an open question. So where do we stand now? Huawei's EUV trial is confirmed. The 3 nanometer plan is in full swing, and China is barreling toward a tech revolution. Will they topple the West? It's too soon to say, but one thing's clear. The game is changing. This isn't a David versus Goliath story. It's Goliath learning to fight back with a slingshot of his own making. By Q3 2025, we'll know if this machine is the real deal. Until then, the world is holding its breath. That's it for today. What do you think? Will China pull this off? Or is the West still untouchable? Drop your thoughts below. I read every comment. And what video should I dive into next? Chip wars. AI breakthroughs. Let me know. While you're at it, check out my deep dive on TSMC's China crisis and SMIC's 3 nanometer shock. Links in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Video out.